Hey guys, it's Brido here, and welcome back to our Liverpool FIFA 13 career mode. This is episode 2. Uh, last episode, we worked on essentially what we're going to be doing with this series and uh, what you guys like to see out of it. This episode, we go through preseason, work on making some moves for the team, and set ourselves up for the next episode, which will be later tonight, to start the actual season and have our opening uh, day roster ready to go. Here we look at uh, the jobs that are available for international. No nothing really at this point because we just started a career and no real scouts to hire. We actually don't have a lot of money either, so kind of keeping money tight and want to get your guys uh, opinions on what we should really do uh, moving forward because it's, you know these decisions are going to be very important and you know we only can make a couple of them. Uh, so we look at the uh, players here that we have transfer listed. I took Carragher off. I completely understand you guys want to see him on the team and that's completely fine. I can you know you know not I don't personally you know watch Liverpool day in day out and been a fan for years and years and years but I understand you know from my own fan experiences that there's guys that you just want to see keep kept on the team even if they are you know dwindling into the twilights of their career um, so we're definitely going to keep him around he'll get his games uh, to be a leader on the team um, so we're moving forward here though and we're going to start making some quick moves to see if we can get some players here's just something showing the other clubs showing interest in the players that we have uh, listed uh, we made a list of a, a short list essentially guys you want to see and uh, we're working on some of those also a couple guys that I liked as well you can see Neil Taylor is one of them there as a left back option um, he's uh, asking for I think 2.2 uh, 2 million so we are able to make the the contract offer there none of these contracts I actually accepted I just wanted to kind of show you guys what we could potentially do how much money it would take to do these deals and uh, what we would be at if we made them we did sell players though so by the end of this episode we have lots of money and it's kind of going to be that we have some time before the season starts and we're going to make our moves then uh, to make sure that we're ready to go for the season a lot of you guys wanted to see uh, this guy on our team so I decided to make an offer for him we do have um, Agar and Skirtle down the middle but you know uh, in a center back position it's always obviously good to have more than just two good players there uh, Koates is uh, another guy that you know can play that role but he's definitely not as good as those two guys so if you guys think that it's a good idea to have um, three in that position three center backs uh, then we should definitely probably look into getting him another guy I looked into that was another center back as well was uh, Nevan Subotic uh, he's a guy that obviously is another good player as well he was really great in FIFA 3 or FIFA 12 um, I think Sako and him are kind of similar on their levels uh, a little bit uh, less value uh, place there on uh, Subotic over Sako but actually, we're able to get Sacco here for uh, 10 million pounds, uh, which is pretty good overall. So, you know, that's something that we can look into doing. And again, that's a lot of money because we only have 16 million pounds to work with right here. So you can see the breaking news feed now that is different from uh, FIFA 12. It's actually kind of nice because it's not um, as hard to read and it pops up when you open the screens up. So now you get the, the feed right away and you understand what's going on. Sometimes, you know, when it came later into the career modes, I missed some stuff that was going down. And now it's going to be a little bit easier to see that. And you can see uh, big moves like that, like Mario Gomez going to Chelsea. And you won't miss out on uh, something like that happening. And it looks nice too. So two pluses there of that. And you can see we're shoring up some uh, moves here. Again, we're not finalizing any of these, but we're just trying to find out how much we can get for everything. And here we get an offer from Milan for uh, Pepe Reina. I wasn't really sure if we should, uh, you know, sell Pepe Reina because he is a really good goalkeeper. But, I mean, he is getting up there in his age and his value is going to go down over time. And this is a pretty big offer for them. So, you know, I was listening to it. As you can see here as well, we uh, got an offer for Stuart Downing from Sunderland. It was a pretty good offer and I decided to, you know, do a little bit more, trying to get more from it for a counter. Uh, for Reyna, we uh, just stall on this because we actually get another offer from Napoli. And I try and get a bit more money from them. Um, seeing, you know, just essentially how much I could get for Reyna. Because, again, we, we don't need to, to move him. But at the same time, you know, if we can, we could actually bring in a guy like this guy right here, Bern Leno or uh, Tistergen. Uh, two guys that, you know, are really good uh, German uh, goalkeepers that would be young guys that could stay on our team for years and years. Um, so we, we sent a couple offers their way. There you can see Downing moves to Sunderland, so we get some good money from obviously not as much as he came in for, but still pretty good considering uh, that we actually did a pretty high um, counter there to still get that money from Sunderland was a good thing. We need as much as we can get because um, with the the way that the, the board takes money from us now, we don't get all the money from uh, transferring people, which means that making transfers isn't always the best thing and you kind of want to keep your squad the way it is, uh, which is going to be good kind of to you know get some continuality into the team and kind of get a cohesion with our, our players that we're going to have as uh, really right now is the big time that we're going to be making um, some moves for the team. 
On another note here, you can see the Pepperina article there, which is kind of cool. If you actually go back and pause it, you can read a little bit that Napoli is actually getting uh, scrutinized from uh, the media for making that move. You know, they're saying that they spent too much money making this move, which is interesting because that's something I haven't seen in FIFA 12 previously. And I'm interested to see if we make a move that we spend too much money on, uh, if they're going to scrutinize us as well. But yeah, regardless, I mean, you know, it was one of those things we kind of got our hand forced on it. Usually I want to get your guys' opinions on it. I wrote a quick comment into the previous episode just to see what you guys thought. And from the couple people I talked to, they thought it was not that bad of an idea. I mean, I had, you know, like I said previously, a Sheffield Wednesday career in FIFA 12. And there was a lot of times I had players that I really brought in and really liked that I just let go after a while because I was like... I just can't turn down this much money, you know, especially in a situation like this that Liverpool does have a good amount of money, but we are in a kind of semi-tight budget and you want to, you know, build the team up and continue to get them better and better. And sometimes that does mean uh, making concessions. But in this case, I think the concession of trading or sorry, uh, transferring Reyna to Napoli is going to be a good thing because getting in a goalkeeper that's younger and better uh, for the future will be something that's going to benefit our team moving forward. Here you can see, uh, though, that two of the offers that we sent in are not good enough. They're not uh, going to please the teams that we're trying to get the players from. So we're still hoping that uh, the Leno deal will go through because that's a still relatively uh, cheap transfer price for him, which would be nice to pick him up at. Here's another good uh, sale, though, that we make as Jose Enrique goes to Valencia for uh, £6 million, which is pretty nice. And we're actually able to pick up Leno here for 8.75 at 50k a week which is a really good wage uh, and pretty good uh, transfer price as well for a 20-year-old goalkeeper that's going to be uh, a pretty good uh, goalkeeper right now as is and is going to develop hopefully into a really great one for our team. Um, so he gets his first start uh, of the, the season in a friendly here and we're hoping that he's uh, able to do the job in this one. And uh, yeah, no, I'm overall pretty happy with that move. It's going to be, the like I said, the only move of this episode is I'm leaving the rest of the stuff for you guys because I really, like I said previously, want to have you involved in the moves that we make so it's not like I'm just um, you know going off on the spree and your guys are like hey I really want to see this guy on this team um, but you can see this one goes by pretty quickly and the positive that I'll take out of this one even though we didn't score uh, was the fact that we got a clean sheet for Leno in his first game which is pretty nice um, I mean we go uh, two draws to start our friendlies uh, for the season which is not uh, the best but you know at the same time we'll still take it versus uh, having any losses um, here we actually get an offer for Joe Cole and uh, we're gonna just uh, make it a, uh, a little bit higher. Um, I've been kind of seeing now that, you know, with playing around with a bit, you can actually do pretty big counter offers. And if they really want the player, they'll actually, um, you know, submit to what you want. And uh, that's kind of a good thing because then you can get the money back that you're losing and uh, you know, the, the board taking uh, essentially 25% of what you have. Here we got a breaking news um, of the, the review of the game, kind of, you know, praising Leno for a good start, a good clean sheet in his first game, which is nice again. Uh, and we sell uh, Jose Enrique there after the offer was accepted for £6 million. Uh, pounds. And there's another um, move uh, for Manchester City. They've got rid of Tevez and uh, Balotelli. So they're kind of cleaning up uh, a little bit over there. And it'll be interesting to see who they bring in to replace those guys. And here you can see, uh, actually, BVB accepts our offer for uh, Cole. So we're actually going to get some good money in for him as well. Uh, we're finishing up, though, this episode with the, the final uh, game of our friendlies before we get into our opening day game. Uh, and this one's against Malaga, which is a pretty tough challenge. Uh, we're going to hope that we can get a, a win out of this one because we've yet to get a win. There you can see Sterling gets his second goal of the, the friendlies that we've played thus far, which is a pretty great start. And then Kelly chips in from the back end there. So we got a 2-0 lead in this one, and actually Leno's able to hold on for this one, guys, and get another clean sheet. The only negative from this one was Egger got injured. But you can see in the next frame here that it's actually not for that long, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, so with the friendlies out of the way, we had a you know a, a one zero and two start, which is a decent start. I mean, we you know we sim the game, so it's a little bit different than us actually playing it. But I'm pretty confident most of the players we have, but there's still some moves that we need to make. And uh, now we're going to look at essentially what those could be. Before we do that, though, I'll, there's another uh, top story there. Liverpool ponding Sterling form. He's been great, and obviously uh, I feel like we need to give him uh, some good playing time in the season to continue his development, and he's playing great to show that he's worth it. Alrighty, guys, before we finish this video up, though, as well, I want to talk about essentially filling some holes in our roster before the opening day game in a couple hours. I want you guys to leave your comments below regarding who you'd like to see. Uh, fill those specific holes. We still need a, probably another center back there. So Sako and Sabotic are two guys that we talked to that could be great fits for that. Another left back, too, is someone that we need. And also, we're looking at another striker to fill out that hole up there as well. We can talk to Andy Carroll and get him back. Uh, 
from his loan for 2.2 million pounds or we can bring in a new guy too it's up to you guys so leave your comments below regarding that and uh look forward to the next episode that will be coming in the next couple hours i hope you guys enjoyed this one though and uh thanks for watching cheers